Well, the metropolitan area network is very similar to campus area network, but it covers the larger distance as compared to campus area network. So as we know, the campus area network is located within the single geographical location where the buildings basically face to each other in order to form campus area network, right? But what if the buildings are not in same geolocation? For example, the buildings are in same city, but they are in different geolocation, maybe 20 to 50 kilometers away. In that case, how could we form the connectivity between these buildings? So there comes the metropolitan area network. Let's say there is an enterprise company called ABC Corporation and this company has multiple branch offices in same city as well as nearby different cities. Now this company wants their branches to connect with each other by using private network. What I mean is this company it doesn't want their data to be transferred over the internet. So how this can be possible? We saw in the campus area network it is possible by using the fiber connectivity among the buildings, right? So the same method can be applied in this form of connectivity. In that case, what this company will do, it will reach out to their local service provider who has the fiber connectivity in that city. So what this ISP or service provider do, they provide their fiber connectivity among these all branch offices. So that is how the company can form the private connectivity among all the buildings. But what if the company has one branch office where local service provider they don't have their connectivity available as a fiber. So what this ISP basically can do, they can reach out to other ISP where they have their own facility available. So these two ISP they come together and they sign some kind of contract and they provide end-to-end -end connectivity for that particular customer in our example ABC Corporation. So that is how the ABC Corporation connect all their branch offices in same city as well as nearby different city. The another example could be this ABC Corporation has hosted their web services in one of the data center which is also located in same city or nearby different city. Now this company wants their all branch offices should connect to this data center securely and privately over the fiber network. In that scenario as well, ISP can provide their connectivity from all these branch offices towards the data center and all these branch offices can have the private connectivity with data center as well. So the question might come here, which kind of connectivity can provide this kind of services? Well, the point-to-point -point or MPLS solutions are the good example of metropolitan area network. So if we talk about how this MAN or metropolitan area network basically set up, then the most part is handled by the ISP. So what they do is basically they provide their own devices in particular location where the offices are located and they actually form fiber connectivity from their devices to all these offices. Now let's talk about the advantages of having metropolitan area network. One of the big advantage of having this network is the circuits provided by the service provider to such organizations are dedicated to the company which means the company can transfer their data among all branch offices on very high speed as well as the data has been transferred on the circuits are remain secure and private to the company. So if we compare this connectivity with internet, then on internet we know that the data is not that secure because whatever data you pass, there are some hackers or attacker, they try to intercept your traffic. But if you have such connectivity like metropolitan area network, then the data remains secure and private between the branch offices. Now let's talk about the connectivity criteria comes under metropolitan area network. So basically this kind of network can cover the distance from 2 to 50 km. So if you have branch offices within 50 km, you can use metropolitan area network. But this is not some kind of statement that you cannot go more than 50 km. Well you can go more than 50 km as long as the ISP has their connectivity available. The only issue is the more distance you cover, the more price you need to pay to ISP.
For example, you have one office in one country and another branch office in different country and you want the private connectivity between these two offices in different countries and if you reach out to ISP to have this private and secure connectivity then this connectivity is going to be very expensive. So it is totally up to company if they have such kind of budget then they can go for this private connectivity otherwise on an average the companies who has their branch offices like up to 50 km they form metropolitan area network. So in summary when we connect multiple branch offices among themselves in same city or nearby different cities then we basically create a metropolitan area network. Now let's move on to our next topic which is wide area network and internet.